Hi, my friends. Today I'm talking about how fear is a belief and faith in being true. So, once you notice that you're programmed to be this energy drink or slave for six to eight decades and, and then die and slave and seeing through all of this, or even, even worse yet, if you believe in retirement, seeing through all of this extensive and powerful system of controlling us. It's been going on for millions of years. They've dialed this in. These mind control weapons and these dogmas and these fear-based schemes have not started yesterday. They, they've dialed this in over millions of years, literally. Seeing how powerful it is, um, each and every survivor of this massive psychological war we're in right now uh, must remember to always remind yourself to have faith in the real with discernment only in what is spiritually real because if there's no soul in what you believe in say you believe in transhumanism or the machine beast is singularity is going to be lovingly and taking care of us you believe in something that not only is it is it openly satanic but it doesn't even have a soul unless you bring the soul into it, which is the whole thing about uh, uploading videos is not, I call it UTAT till it's only us. It's not about my ego. It's not about trying to become famous or powerful or rich. Or, I don't even care. It's about sharing the truth, the awareness, the joy, the love of the true Christ. Okay, It's not really about anything more. And sharing the truth and the love with you. So, <clears throat> each and every survivor of this ma massive psychological war must remember and always remind yourself to have faith with discernment only in what is spiritually real. The goddess is pure, respectful creator. Would, would a loving parent God make you his permanent energy slave? What if all these <coughs> inverted middleman gods are afraid of you waking up to your godhood? They're afraid of you. Uh, they, they, they insisted on me being shadow banned. They're afraid of you finding out the truth. Um, they really are because you were truly made in the harmonious, <coughs> joyful, and respectful image of the Christ God is Sophia. Think about that for a few seconds. You were not made in the image of these reptilian or these Anunnaki masters originally. No, you were made in those who would never try to force you to be a slave or control you because she is truly your mother. This entire planet was designed to be an amazingly healing <clears throat> and sexy natural natured place which is a living library or great awareness think about that if these if these demons if these these evil ones weren't in 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 the middle of all of our subconscious minds telling us what to do constantly the intention of the original creator was to make this planet a divine living library of, of great awareness and expansion of, of knowledge you are becoming one with the amazingly resplendent, loving, peaceful goddess. As I've said, without adversary. Now, I've noticed before I took Old Testament in college in Brevard College, Transylvania County, North Carolina. And uh, in the original Hebrew word, for the devil in the Old Testament, um, some translators say meant adversary. Okay, so without adversary <clears throat> in heaven, there would be no learning. If we didn't fuck up, if we didn't mess up, okay, this is the value of the devil of the dark side. However, when you get caught up <clears throat> in manipulating or, or 
or being self-destructive, suicidal, sadomasochistic, or narcissistic, abusing yourself or others for gain, you're a satanic idiot, psychologically, okay? So give thanks to Satan for especially in the last three years showing you exactly what you are not. And if you're intelligent, if you have discernment, if you have real spirituality, you will reject being a 3D cyborg humanoid slave. You're not a human 2.0. And you got to be thankful for the dark side for reminding you to recall, helping you, giving you time off work, or showing you what, for those of you who are spiritually bypassing and now you're not, like perhaps some part of my subconscious, forcing you to see the truth, as painful as it is, <clears throat> that Lucifer and Yahweh are shittier, shitty junior gods. Um, will you be a respectful junior god? Because if you maybe if you have enough um, self-respect and discernment and harmlessness, <clears throat> and you don't, and you obey the non-aggression principle and don't hurt anyone else, maybe you can demonstrate. If you don't have any obligations as a slave that would get in the way, maybe in the next couple of years you could demonstrate how to be a better junior God than Lucifer or Yahweh. What your soul really is, is a ray of the divine Christ experiencing temporarily life inside a flesh suit. To grow in awareness, joy, and expansion of soul through suffering and joy, separation and togetherness, tantric bliss, and the, the pain of longing, a spirit hologram that split off from the Great One to expand consciousness. A hologram, you know, a hologram contains all in the mirror reflective image. Like, remember in the, the first Star Wars when Leia, they, when R2-D2 shows Leia as that little hologram, you can, it actually looks three-dimensional. Similarly, psychological hologramic imprint contains all. So if I took ayahuasca, if I took too many of those things, many people are, uh, are just psychically aware so much that they can tune into the Akashic records, uh, you know, and read it. You don't have to die or you don't have to be God to do that. It's just, it's just like remote viewing. If you don't believe, if I don't believe it's possible, I don't, I can't conceive of how they do it because we are made in the hologramic image of the most high divine sacred goddess, Sophia Christ. That means that we, if we can get our stupid reptilian ego out of the way, then we can uh, actually visualize or materialize. If it's not going to harm yourself or anyone else, you could manifest, you could actually remote view or envision any part of the entire whole. Okay. You, <clears throat> what you really are, what your soul really is, a ray of the divine. Christ experiencing temporarily life inside a flesh suit and um, a spirit hologram that split off from the great one to expand consciousness. You are a portion of divine light being you or whatever you think you are. You know, there's a saying that, um, if you think you can't do it, you're right. And if you think you can do it, you're right. What if fear is a false structure? Think about it. I mean, the, the acronym false evidence appearing real is certainly always truthful. Think about it. What happens if you turn off your fear? Turn it off. What happens then? If you're not afraid. Regressive evil ET gods have had to hide... Because all that they do, all that Satan and Lucifer and their clubs and their overlords do, 
is all of it breaks all the stuff I talk about that they do breaks cosmic law. It breaks the divine law of non-interference. The truth is you are free and you can do anything so long as it doesn't harm anyone else. And hopefully not you or your soul, especially. It's called the non-aggression principle, the truth. That's the anarchist truth that I learned from David James Rodriguez. They really don't want you to know that because that brings freedom. Morality, as Mark Passio says, is completely related. The aggregate level of morality is related to the aggregate level of freedom in a town, a region, a culture. So you are free on earth when you are fully moral and aware of choice and discern and choose what is the best for all? And that is always what the Christ wants, the real Christ, the true spirit creator, always wants the peaceful solution that's best for all. Okay, that's God's choice. Ignore or reject. Um, the tech uh, welfare AI machine, you know, um, G Gabor, Gabor Mate said, um, the question is, can we evolve with these computers and gadgets and machines or are, are, are they going to destroy us and we're going to have to start over um, without them? And he said, I think maybe we can work with them. And I, and I think it's possible too, but it's going to take a lot of, of self-discipline for a lot of us. We get so addicted to these gadgets. And of course, I became a hypocrite as far as speaking out against microwave poisoning since I got into it. But I just, you know, unlike a cell phone user, I'm, I'm doing a ton of learning. So and hopefully um, some teaching here. So all of the devil's filthy ideas and regulate all. You have to ignore or reject all of the devil's filthy ideas and regulate evil back to its real purpose and power to simply be. Reflections of psychological withholding of the real light. That's right. There is no real Lucifer or Illuminati. You know why? Because they don't have light. Self-centered egomaniacs and narcissistic beings who will kill you for money or drink your blood are not really beings of light. They're beings of darkness. Okay? It is trapped, okay? Darkness is not light. It is trapped light, okay? These beings are all trapped in their darkness. Free yourself with respect. And you take the chains off God because the Christ is in us all, okay? Different ET races tried to accelerate different traits in humans, both wonderful and horrible, you know, throughout millions of years. Face it. Why has human wage, wage slavery, box slavery, and its related black magic money, media, mind control, pharmacia, and dark alcohol spirits promoted in natural human medicine, such as psychedelic plants, given to us as medicine by the, the Holy Ghost? Um, why has that been, poo like it says in the Bible, been poo-pooed? Why was the word quack spread around so vehemently and adamantly to describe natural, real medicine a century ago. Because people believe it. They still buy the shitty products. They're still willing, thus, as, as it is a free will planet. We are witnessing the great bifurcation, unfortunately. Hundreds of thousands uh, of years ago, we were forced to breed with reptilians and Anunnaki and other races. So that human women, um, you know, were forced to breed with them. And that was the seed of the sexual misery programming we're going through now. We, Most of us on this planet need deep sexual healing, as far as I can see, and recon, re, re, reconnecting, re-embrace re of hierogamy. Sacred union is a necessity in most, especially me. The oneness... Always remember the oneness and uh, uh, will always be under 
a divine solar goddess with equanimity, our original nature. If you like this, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and create a great day, my family. Loving you. Well, follow me on Odyssey.